Man, this is lifestyles of the poor and unfucking fortunate. But I tell you what, but 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 bitch, we got views. So we're in the middle of recording. Um, I was out with my brother Jimmy, who introduced me to all this shit. <laughs> And uh, he tore some ligaments in his leg. And back in the day, Jimmy used to like lift from by weights and shit. He was swollen as fuck. And uh, they gave this motherfucker Oxycontin 80 for his motherfucking torn ligaments. And he didn't know at the time. I didn't know. Nobody knew. He's like, bro, I don't even feel my other leg, let alone the one that's hurting. You got to try one of these. And I'm like, fuck it. All right. I'd already been experienced with Xanax and tabs and shit like that. So he's like, you gotta try one of these bars. I'm like 20, I mean, one of these uh, oxys, I'm like 20 years old. And uh, I popped the motherfucker and I literally like, I overdosed pretty much. I just didn't die, I just overdosed. My body was rejecting that shit. The first time. Yeah, the very first fucking time ever. And I took that motherfucker and we ended up in a CK's coffee shop, little coffee shop, little breakfast spot here in Memphis. And uh, it was like five in the morning. I'd been fucked up since five in the afternoon. Just been like a zombie. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I go over to the dude cooking the dinner, cooking the breakfast and shit. I go, I'm like out of it too. I'm like walking over doing, hey boss, don't worry about cooking my food. He was like, what? I'm like, I'm not going to be here to eat it. I knew something was bad. Something was wrong. My body was just shut down. So I go into the bathroom and as I'm, I'm literally falling out. And I just stuck my arms out and grabbed both handicap rails. And when I did, my body just stopped right above the toilet. I almost knocked all this shit. And I just barfed. I threw up for like a whole three minutes. And I mean, I threw up everything in my soul. Yeah. And man, after that shit was out of me, I was like, oh, oh God damn, don't do that shit again. I'm puking around. So man. I walked out to the kitchen. I walked out of the, into, the back, into the restaurant, sat down, and everybody was like, what the fuck happened to you? You were just dead a minute ago. What the fuck? They thought they were going to take, take me to the hospital. They were trying to put food in me and shit to get me to sober up. I was like, I don't know, man. I just threw up everything, and I'm hungry as fuck now. And dude comes up my plate. He goes, I knew you weren't going to die. And I was like, Hi, what? It was like some like guardian angel food <laughs> of, of pancakes or some shit. And uh, so I smashed his fucking plate. And, man, like I said right there, I was like, man, fuck Oxycontins. Fuck Oxycontins. Uh-uh, no. Mm -hmm. I said, man, I'll, I'll pop some shit and have a good time, but when it's something like that, no. So the next day, I go to the studio, and Paul's like, what'd you get into last night? I was like, oh my God, let me tell you, bro. Don't ever take an Oxycontin 80. He was like, oh, what happened? I'm told him the whole story and shit. Juicy pops his head out and goes, write a song about it. I was like, what? He was like, yeah, write a song about pills. All of them, though. Don't just solidify the Oxycontin. You can name it Oxycontin. Paul goes in there and makes the beat that night. <laughs> and like, that's the, that's the rest of his history on that. And like that was what really set the pace for what kind of music I was going to be making on this album. And I'm like, God damn it, this is what I'm going. This is really just what we're doing. But the, but then you telling the story, and I'm so <coughs> glad you told that story. You telling that story is completely different from what probably everybody thought. Oh yeah, that oxycontin was. They just probably thought it was you. That shit you love doing. That. Exactly. People think I get up and like take a fucking cheese grater and sprinkle oxy on my <laughs> eggs and shit. That's what people think. Like, I ain't took the Oxycontin in literally, like, fucking forever. Yeah. And, uh, shit, I don't really fuck with nothing no more. Everything's fitting on now. Shit. You can't yeah. take nothing from anybody. Yeah. This shit don't come yeah. out of a fucking Walgreens. I ain't even taking my antibiotics unless they got a sticker on them motherfuckers. Yeah. But, yeah, so, like, everybody thought, just like you said, like, everybody. Like, dude, I would go to shows and people would give me, like, bags of pills. Right. Shit. It happened in Evansville that time you did that show with us. Yeah, it did. When you did that song, people brought up, brought up a whole thing. Yeah, dude, me and, uh, me and, I want to say it was me and Fraser Boy and Ace at the time. We were at a show, and this dude had been in the front row all night with these big ass pockets, right? I mean, he had fat pockets. You can tell he had something in his pockets. This motherfucker, right when the song comes on, he, there's a picture somewhere. I can't fucking find it. I've been looking for it forever. But I remember that you said, I, used, I found it on MySpace forever ago. Mm -hmm. And dude reached in his pockets and pulled out two handfuls of every kind of pill mm -hmm. on the song. And right when the bass dropped, he just threw them up on top of me. And I'm like rapping and shit, and there's pills bouncing off my fucking head and shit. And I wish I could find that fucking picture. Oh, that's it's, a, it's a dope yeah. ass picture. Yeah. You can see pills bouncing off my head. But yeah, like for years, like after that, people would just bring me pills. And I was like, dude, what the fuck? Like, 
And I, I tell Paul and Juicy this shit, like, dude, this is my gift and my curse, man. Yeah. And then after, you know, once once Oxycontin really got out there and people start dying and shit, that's when everybody started pointing the finger. Yeah. Oh, you, you, I had a mom come to a fucking autograph sign at fucking uh, Tower, no, not Tower Records, it was uh, Spin Street, used to be here in Memphis, it used to be Tower Records, I want to say. What, what did Tower Records used to be, Spin Street used to be, was it Tower didn't Spin Street used to be Tower Records? Yeah, 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 back before, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, yeah, so we're in there signing autographs and shit. I'm sitting out there. Paul and Juicy had the made back in the Rolls Royce underneath the own red carpet and of shit. Of course. But, yeah, we rolled up there clean as fuck. And, uh, you know, they were all taking pictures of everybody. And there's this long-ass line wrapped around the door. And this, woman, this mom comes in and she's like, uh, you killed my son. Oh, God. What? She's like, yeah. My son overdosed on Oxycontin listening to your song and died. I was like, look, lady. I was trying to, like, blow it off, and then she started getting, like, kind of cocky. She wanted me to, first, she got me to sign the record. She got me to sign the CD cover. She I'm wanted an autograph. It. I'm signing it. I'm like, who do I make this out to? She's like, Billy. I was like, Billy. I was like, cool. Tell Billy I appreciate it. She was like, Billy's dead. You killed my son. I was just like, whoa. Was not ready for that one. And Paul even looks over like, what the fuck is he I was like, you heard this motherfucker? And I, I finally, I just, she kept talking so much shit. I was like, look, lady, he probably got the motherfucking shit from your fucking medicine cabinet. You know, like, he, I didn't fucking kill your son. He listened to my music because he liked my fucking music. You probably had something to do with that shit. So fucking And pissed her the fuck music. off. Security had to kick this bitch out and shit. But yeah, like, that shit, it was my gift and my curse. Like, even now, dude, like, even now, especially since Lord Infamous is on the fucking song, rest in peace, Lord. Yeah. Fuck, there's going to be a lot of rest in pieces in this thing, I see. Yeah. So, you know, even like now at my shows, like even though I've done fucking recorded what? A thousand. Twelve million. fucking thousand other songs. Yeah. I cannot rock a show without ending the show with Oxycontin. It's just what the fucking fans want and I understand that and I'll always give it to them.